We're all geared up for a big holiday weekend. The warehouse was packed with merchandise. It was about 8.30 at night. We were very busy in here. Lots of customers were buying. And I got a call from our warehouse manager. He said, there's a fire back here. I said, well, put it out. He said, you don't understand, this is a big fire. So uh, I thought it was a fire in the trash dumpster or something like that, and thought it could be contained pretty easily. So I kept, we kept selling furniture. People were checking it out. And then uh, these firemen ran in with this uh, uh, alarmed look on their face. And they started screaming, everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. And I told one of them, I'm staying here, I'm going down with the ship. And the fire marshal said, uh, get out or get arrested. So I got out and I went out on the parking lot, looked over where the warehouse was. And I was amazed to see giant plumes of smoke going up 30 or 40 feet in the air. I knew then that the entire warehouse was on fire. And we had about $20 million worth of inventory in that warehouse and it all burned up in a space of uh, 15 minutes and they closed the entire freeway. It was a giant fire. The Houston firefighters did a great job of fighting that fire. In fact, they kept the fire from coming into the main store, which would have burned through our insurance coverage. And they fought it brilliantly and bravely as Houston firefighters are very aggressive and kept the fire from coming in the main store. When we arrived, very intense flames. You could even feel it through the car window. That's how intense it was. But we have seen uh, the smoke diminish. The flames have gone down somewhat. But again, firefighters working this still very active scene from all directions. Uh, that was a, a real tough night. And about 11 o'clock at night, we all gathered together and held hands and prayed. Employees came in from across uh, Texas where they lived. And they uh, were all there. And I told them we were going to go on. We we're going to start the store the next day at our uh, smaller location at Post Oak and Westheimer, which we had just opened about three months before. Now it is a four alarm fire at Gallery Furniture's warehouse. Were you in the building when it happened? Yeah, I was in the building. It was 8.30 or 8.45. One of the warehouse guys called me, Andre, I think, and said, we got a fire back here. I thought he was kidding me, so I looked around on the cameras and. I couldn't see anything, then I saw these flames leaping in one of the corners of the warehouse. And some of the guys went back there and tried to put it out of fire extinguisher, but the fire was too intense. Mattress Mac on the phone a few minutes ago. He is in front of the store right now watching the warehouse burn down. He and his wife built this back in 1981. They had 5,000 bucks and turned it into a Houston landmark, and now he is watching at least the warehouse portion come down. The fire chief just said, I'm sorry, everybody has got to go. Everything we'd ever worked for was gone. You know, it's not. For some of us, this is all we have. This is it. This is how we do. People don't, I think, fully understand the ripple effect of the damage of this store. Yes, it's all the employees that work here and their families. It's all the people that shop here. The money that was lost that he donates so much of to charities. The loss factor is huge. What's greatest memory here? Greatest memory here? Um, my brother George. Yeah, my brother George and all the good times we had here. My brother died on December 27th of this year, and that day was a whole lot rougher than this. We'll get through this, and we'll, we'll be fine, and we'll continue to support this city that we all love so much. This store was devastated. The main store had super heavy smoke and water damage, which uh, obviously prevented us from operating here. We had to get all that cleaned up. So we started operating the next day at 7 a.m. at the store at Post Oak and Westheimer. People came in and they bought. We didn't know where we were going to deliver the furniture from because we had no warehouse, we had no inventory, but we were on the phone calling suppliers across the country to bring inventory to Houston. We're picking up furniture from vendors across the country tomorrow and get that furniture in here. We'll be delivering furniture somehow tomorrow. So we're going to continue on. And by four o'clock that afternoon, we had a, uh, a banker called. He had a furniture warehouse that was operational, half empty. It had lift trucks. It had cantilevered racks, had everything you needed. It was a dream come true. We moved in that warehouse at about four o'clock that afternoon. The trucks came in and we unloaded them quickly. 
and we delivered about a quarter million dollars worth of furniture that day because of our great employees and great support from the community. So even though that tremendous fire happened, it was a big blow to us, we kept going on because that's what we do. We survive and we move on and we take care of customers, we take care of the community. I taught my kids to be uh, perseverant, mentally tough, tenacious, and, and to, you know, to, to do the right things. And uh, I remember that horrific night of that fire, May 21st, 2009, my little daughter Elizabeth was here. And, all the TV stations wanted interviews. I really didn't want to do the interview, but she told me what I told her 5,000 times. She said, Dad, chins up, smiles on, and let's go do it. So we did it. As my dad has taught every one of us kids our entire life to never give up, no matter what comes in front of us or what battle we have to face, and this is another one, but we'll get through it. We always do. Yes, it is hard to watch, but I, uh, I have a lot of faith. I always have had a lot of faith, and good Lord has a plan for us, and we're going to be fine, and the city of Houston is going to support us, and we're going to rebuild and do this all over again because I have a lot of faith. After the news of the tragic fire that destroyed the gallery furniture warehouse, there was a tremendous outpouring of love and support from the community, including letters, cards, phone calls, and donations. So I was at Post Oak on Saturday morning after the fire, about 10 o'clock, and this little boy walked in with his mother. His name was Logan, and he had a piggy bank full of money, and his mother said he was saving this up for an uh, iPod, but uh, after he saw that fire last night and your building burning down, he wanted to give you this. Uh, it was like uh, $15, $20 he'd saved up. It was a very touching gesture, him and his sister named Kate. I still keep, keep in touch with him today, and so, that was part of the community support. People came in and they gave us checks, said, I don't want any furniture. Here's a check to help you rebuild. So it showed we were part and parcel and fabric of the community. One of the questions I ask myself every day is, would the community miss us if we would go out of business tomorrow? Hopefully the answer is yes, they would. As I say, all these retailers nowadays going out of business, that's why we do other things other than just sell furniture. We want to be relevant to the community. That's why we have the Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners, while we give away the furniture, while we have a uh, community liaison that helps people that are in trouble uh, every day of the week. Uh, we're, we're part and parcel of the community. We want to be part of Houston. We want to make Houston and Texas a better place. Indeed, that is our life's work. In typical Mac fashion, a plan was put into place immediately to rebuild the original gallery furniture bigger and better than ever. Mac his family and the gallery furniture family opened up phase one in only six weeks. Mac reopened the store with a tribute to the 31 fire stations who took a stand to save gallery furniture. A sculpture honoring the brave firefighters now stands in front of the store. Thanks to everybody for joining us today as we salute the incredibly brave men and women of the Houston Fire Department. Firefighters were fighting that fire. I kept, I kept watching them come out of the fire exhausted from the heat, exhausted from the work they were doing, and yet they never complained. They just kept worked and worked and worked, and at the end of the day, they saved the world's greatest furniture tour. It's very emotional for me. The inspiration to me are the people who rushed out, rushed in as we were rushing out, the Houston Fire Department. Gallery Furniture has not only survived the past 12 months, we have thrived because of our fantastic customers, employees, and the wonderful free enterprise system and the community we live in here in Texas. So I believe it is morning in America for all of us. And with hard work, dedication, and a commitment to the Judeo-Christian work ethic, we can certainly bring that bright, sunny future back into the present. Thanks very much. <laughs>